In this problem, we're going to find the magnitude of the vector v, where v is equal to the vector given in component form uh, 5, comma 12. So I'm going to come over here and write down our vector v. So in component form, it's angle bracket 5, comma 12, and then angle bracket. So the formula for the magnitude of v is the following. Now, I should mention that sometimes I forget to put arrows here. So um, you're supposed to put them there. Uh, if you don't, then your vector should be in bold, I suppose. But it's not a big deal, usually. Notice here, in this homework problem, they just make it bold. So the formula for the magnitude of v is the square root of the first component squared, which I'll call a, plus the second component squared, which is b. And this is in the case where v is equal to this vector here, a, b. So this is the formula you want to, to use. So in this problem, your a is equal to 5. So this is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus, and then your b is equal to 12. So 12 squared. All right, good stuff. So this is equal to the square root of, so 5 squared is 25, and 12 squared is 144. So we have 25 plus 144, which is equal to 169. And the square root of 169 is equal to 13. So 13 is the magnitude of this vector, or the length of this vector. So what does this mean intuitively? Let me show you. So let's say we graph our vector. There's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, and let's say that this is the terminal point of the vector. So this ordered pair here would be 5, comma 12. And I'll use a different color here for my vector. This is the initial point. And the vector goes up this way and ends here. So the length of this vector would be 13. That's what's going on there. To come up with this formula, by the way, you would just draw a triangle and use the ancient theorem of Pythagoras, just some extra information. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.